like a tramp. <laughs> Bloody Scary clowns thing. everywhere. Date night, you know what that means. Exciting for you guys. Cheers. <laughs> Welcome back to another week. Say hello. Hello. Oh, not very much enthusiasm. You're joining us on a very special day today because Ooh. it is... Come on, that's your cue. What? To say what day it is. Uh, Monday. Woo. Yeah, but what? It, why is it a special Monday? Our anniversary. How many years? Two. Married. Two married. How thrilled are you? Very. Special date night. Yeah. You know what that means? <laughs> yeah. <Ooh>. No. <laughs> so, because we are boring and married, we are getting excited that we're going out tonight. But, because I don't go out out, our second year anniversary date night is to... The cinema! <laughs> <laughs> to watch some scary clown. Wow, well, where was our first anniversary? Anything better? We celebrated our first anniversary when we were away, but we were in a really shitty town, weren't we? I can't remember what town. Oh, well, there you go then. We put this in Wild Wings. Oh my god! I actually forgot we went to Wild Wings. Oh, Wild oh, Wings Wild is Wings. my favourite place on earth. Ever. It beats Quick Burger. It beats. Do you know what it beats? Okay. In and Out. Right yeah, it does. Beats In and Out. Beats KFC. Yes, it beats KFC. I love Buffalo Wild Wings. Favorite place on earth. Anyway, so we're going to the cinema tonight to watch it. And I don't know how I feel about that, but we'll soon find out. And we're also going to get some food, aren't we? Yeah. I'm feeling very, very hungry. But the whole purpose of this mirror situation is to get the outfit. So, this is what I'm wearing. Got my new Chanel's on. chanel -o! And got the Sandro blazer on, which is the one I bought from Bista. But I have actually found it online, so I will link that below. And then I have a little satin cami. Oh, it's actually, that's a lie, it's not satin, it's just a cami with lace trim. Layered all the necklaces on right now. So I've got Misoma horn, Misoma disc with little Harry Potter lightning bolt and the Misoma mini fang. And then I've got my Zara mom jeans on. And yes, the Chanel slingbacks are coming out to play. Hiya. Right, so this is where we've chosen to spend our anniversary. <laughs> TGIs. Yes. I've got chicken fajitas. What have you got over there? Chicken fajitas. Huh? That's not chicken fajitas. That looks like a big ass burger to me. I've got FOMO over here. And then we've got some loaded, loaded fries. Yummers. Excuse me. One of those is mine. No, one of them is mine. No, that one was going to be mine. Cheers. Huh? Yes, yes. Yep, that's you. <laughs> I'm full, are you full? Yeah, I'm full. Look at my button, guys. <laughs> I literally can't. The hardest so working fun. button in the, in the UK. It actually. really, really, really is. I also feel like I've just went in there fully of normal health and I've come out with diabetes. That milkshake was good though, wasn't it? Yeah, it good. Right, this is where we're going now. Into the cinema. Right, now I'm in focus. Don't go out of focus. Uh, yeah, try not to go out of focus. <laughs> okay, so we just come out. What did you think? It was good, but I think I preferred the first original one. I thought it was bloody horrific. You were scared, weren't you? I was petrified. Just jumping. And now... Got going in the dark. <laughs> now we've got to find the car. Blue water's closed, we've got to find the car. It's worth watching, isn't it? Like Bloody clowns films. everywhere in my head it's now. Like scary films, have got to check under the bed tonight now. <laughs> Don't, I'm not going to sleep well tonight. And you you're going to make it a million times worse. You sleep well every night, your head hits a pillow and you're asleep. 
horrid, horrid film. We can't find the bloody car now because Blue Water's closed. Will you stop singing the song? He's whistling the bloody clown song. Don't do that when it's dark. Oh, now you do. <laughs> now he's doing Jeepers Creepers, which is my other thing. I hate them. Literally, where is the car though? Hello, Georgie. Oh my <laughs> God, you've got to stop that. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well thanks to you last night. Mate. Yeah. I was dreaming of like a Jeepers Creepers clown hybrid. Right, we're going shopping at Asda. Oh, look at, I look like a tramp. <laughs> That's just fished a coat out of a bin. <laughs> Very basic tramp. Very basic tramp. Yeah, right. Let's have a look. See what I'm actually wearing. Look at my hair. <laughs> Literally just got out of bed. Okay, so uh, today's tramp outfit involves this coat, which I picked up in H&M last night before we went to the cinema. Um, it's like brown and light blue or grey check. Very jazzy. It is very oversized. I'm wearing a size 8 and it's ginormous, but I love that. Uh, Zara mum jeans, Zara sweat, no jewellery, Gucci bag and Gucci loafers. And we're off to Asda. Woohoo! I have never seen someone take so long deliberating over me. Just put it in the trolley. <laughs> Look at Asda creating their own Nando's. Are we going to get one? Get no. one of the hot, oh, get a piri piri. Yeah? Yeah? So we can handle that. Mm. Let's just have it anyway. <laughs> That's looking like a healthy basket, isn't it? Mm. Until you've not come shopping on your own, eh? <laughs> All that's been there is crisps and we've, we've just walked past this section. Why have we not put anything in? Literally, can't help herself, look. All this good, healthy food, can't help herself but grab about 50 bags of biscuits. It's like that supermarket sweep. Program, just grab everything off the shelf. Oreos originals, let's get some of them. Look at all the cakes that you could have got me. Look, I could have had this one. This is a freak shape. Look, this is a cheeseburger cake. You got me one that serves 16, these serve 28. You can tell that I've started adding stuff to the trolley now because it's all the good shit. But now we're back in the vegetable aisle. Let's leave this aisle. This is quite a work of art, the stacking of the trolley. Perhaps we should just get a bigger trolley next time. You think you've got the wrong size. Hello! Right, it is... what day is it? It's Wednesday. Wednesday, everybody. And I am off to do something fun and hopefully exciting for you guys today. If I pan down here, you will see that I am fully equipped with a body harness and a GoPro. And no, I'm not going to be scaling the shard. But what I am doing is going shopping. And I take it very seriously. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys shopping with me today. But first of all, I'm just gonna show you my outfit, what I'm wearing. So I have got on a ribbed, and I'm not sure if you can see it, uh, polar neck jumper. It's not the one that I normally wear. This one's actually a new one. It was from French Connection. Uh, it's 60% cotton, so it's breathable, you know, in the armpit area. And then this is an old blazer from Zara, but I like it and it's part wool, so it keeps me warm because I think it's a bit nippy outside. Uh, usual Cluse watch, and then I've got my Mini Marie pendant by Monica Venada, which I always wear. Bobble chain in the medium length from Miss Oma, and then I've done a different, wait, I'm gonna turn this around. I've done a slightly different combination with my Miss Oma jewels here. So I've got my E initial, and then this Dal Dandrick, Dalondric Chalestony? I have no idea if I've pronounced that right, but it's basically a gemstone and it's the little shield and I've just layered those on one chain and this is obviously the plain chain in the small length. Focus, come back to me camera, thank you. And then we've also got the Gucci bag, my Joe's jeans from Revolve with the rips, and then my Chloe Susanna boots in black leather because these are so comfortable and shopping is tiring work so you have to have on good footwear. 
Now, I don't know how this is gonna pan out and I'm sure I'm gonna get some funny looks, but I want you guys to kind of have a from Emma's eyes view on how I go shopping. Now, I'm gonna take this with me as well, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm picking up. I'm gonna go try loads of stuff on and then I'm afraid you're all gonna have to wait until next week's haul on the first Sunday of the month to find out what I actually bought. Right guys, I'm in my first store, which as you can see is Mango. And you would have just seen me perusing around, having a look for some stuff. And this is what I've picked up. So I've got one, two, three, four, five items here. So I'm gonna try those on for you guys. This is probably my least favorite fitting room because the light is absolutely terrible and they're so small, but needs must. First up, I'm gonna try on this coat. Now this is $69.99. It is made from polyester acrylic and it has a touch of mohair in it, which is why it's got this fluffiness there. Um, now I'm wearing a size small because it is quite oversized and I feel like a small is probably big enough. Now I'm not normally a fan of coats with poppers on the front, but for 70 quid I suppose, you know, you can't really complain. Now the thing to mention about this is that it is not lined. It is literally the same fabric as it is on the outside, on the inside. I can feel myself getting quite warm. I know I'm in a fitting room, so that's probably the mohair in it. Right, next, the light is so not flattering on this trouser frontal situation, but these are a pair of checkered, oh that's better light isn't it? They still look like a nappy though. Checkered trousers and I was drawn to these purely for this belt which looks awesome and it is like a paper bag waist so it's high waist and it's all like ruched in with the belt and as you can see like lengthwise on me they're quite cropped anyway let's move up to the top because this is just a basic t-shirt which i only grabbed to try on with these trousers but i actually really like the t-shirt i really like the fit it's quite baggy and boyfriendy this is a size small and this is 17.99 the cotton feels really nice as well do quite like mango for basics and lastly, I have like a cable knit in cream. This is 29.99, which I think is not bad. I'm wearing a size medium. Sleeves are a good length. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing really special about this sweater. I think it's just one of those basic pieces, which is nice to have. Right, in H oh, smack my arm. In H&M now, much better lighting in here, much better mirror. I've got a few pieces to try on. Look at that bad boy. The first thing I picked up is this sort of beigey coloured batwing slouchy jumper. And this was $17.99, or is $17.99. It's quite slouchy. I've tucked it in a little bit at the front, but let's, it's not too long, but I would tuck it in just a little bit there. I like this, I think it's, I think it's nice. It's like a beigey, torpy colour. Second item, which I picked up purely for the fact, well, actually, two reasons. A, it's a blazer, and two, it's an autumnal colour. It's kind of like this rusty, burnt orange colour, which is awesome. I've ruched up the sleeves, and I've actually got it on over that jumper because it's so oversized. The jumper actually fits perfectly underneath. And next is this camel jumper. It is camel, trust me. I know it looks a little bit yellow in the mirror, but so do I. Not so sure how I feel about the tie because look how annoying that would be. They would just flap around and get in the way. Now I'm wearing a size 10 in this one, but I would be quite tempted to size up into a 12. So it's like super oversized. Right, I've come to warehouse now and I spotted this very Chanel-esque blazer and I thought, oh, I've got to go and try that on. So, ta-da. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice quality. Well done, warehouse. I like it. It's got these splits on the sleeve. Um, there's no fastenings, as it's kind of like the traditional sort of boucle blazer, which doesn't really have any fastenings. Yeah, really like it. I think it looks nice with black. I think it could also work well with blue denim. And this is actually quite reasonably priced. It's 55. <laughs> okay, let's give m and a go. See what they've got in store. Right, I'm quite liking the look of this herringbone coat. It's quite long. 69 quid. Not bad. 
Right guys, I'm in Zara now and I wanted to just try this on for you guys. Obviously not gonna buy it because this is the Zara version of my Anina Bing blazer. And I just wanted to try it on so you guys could see if you were thinking about buying it because mine is sold out. Um, it is very masculine and oversized, which I like. And the pattern is very, very similar. Yeah, I mean, the sleeves aren't gonna stay up. Somehow the sleeves on my Anina Bing one stay up, but these are gonna start to fall down because they're really wide. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's 50 quid. I suppose it's, it's not bad value really, but if I were you, I would wait for the Anina Bing one to come back in stock. Just my personal opinion. Right, and on to the pieces which I've picked up to try on. So this is the black and white houndstooth check coat. It's a very thin, look. again, no lining. It's literally just one, one sheet of fabric. So it's not gonna be a winter coat. I quite like these sleeves. Like I'm gonna show you this one. They're kind of rolled up and then they've got a bit of fraying. So a bit of a Chanel edge there. And it does have a belt. So it's almost like a trench really. Right, now I also picked up a couple pairs of shoes which I'm going to try on because I'm completely vibing on bows, apparently, and kitten heels. So these are like a mule and they've got this big bow detail on the front and I'm not sure if you can see texture, but they're actually velvet and then the bow is uh, like a gross grain. And then these ones are also velvet, but the uh, bow is like studded and then they have um, obviously a full back so they're a full court shoot. The heel on those is a little bit higher as well. Okay, this I love. I think the screen might be a little bit bright so I'm just gonna just dim it down a little bit. But this is camel and black a striped sweater and it literally sits just here which is my favorite place for a jumper to sit unless it's a big oversized baggy one. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It is 100% my color scheme. Uh, it's so so soft. Ha! Right, so it turns out it's viscose polyester and nylon. And I've kept it on with my Joe's skinny jeans and these little muley things because I am very tempted to keep those. But yeah, I think this jumper is amazing, so amazing. It could definitely look wicked with a blazer over the top. But this would be the sort of thing that I would just wear around the house on a daily basis when I'm doing like my office work. You know when you just get back in the house and you're like, something feels wrong? I feel like you've been doing something. No, I don't do anything when you're on here. There's walk. a pile of clothes there. There was a pile of clothes downstairs. I'm just doing my autumn winter wardrobe switchover. Have you done something in... Oh my God. <laughs> Well, you spent no time wasting there, did you? I had all my nice shoes on display. Oh. I don't know which ones I've got. But how do you know which ones are in what dust bags? I feel like... T-shirts, got lots of loads, loads of space so I can air them out. Huh? That one needs yeah. to go on the going pile, I think. Yeah, yeah that, those, these two. Hang on. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, those two? Don't touch. Oh. <laughs> you can play a drawing cover. <laughs> oh, what's happened in here? Oh, this is where you've just shoved all my Depop stuff. Good morning, everyone. It's now uh, Friday morning. I had a meeting with the PR from NARS yesterday, so I'm just trying out lots of my new products, but I can hear something going on upstairs. I'm not really sure what's going on. What are you doing? I need to tell everyone my secret idea. Custom wardrobe. You've cut a hole in that. What? I like it. What's gonna go in there? Shoes and bits. Shoes and bits. And, and what was the reason for all this clanging and banging this morning? Like what, what exactly are you trying to achieve here? I'm gonna put my jumpers in. Oh, right. Can I show one? I want to do my closet tour. Huh? I want to do a closet tour. No. Out the way. Looks bad, isn't it? Yeah. Are you, oh, you're not going to guide through everything else? Very smart. Right, that's a no then. Right, it is Friday afternoon. 
and I am irritable because we've had an annoying afternoon. So after Simon finished, can you guys be quiet? All I can hear is tap, tap, tapping on the floor. Go away. Thank you. Bye bye. Um, yeah, after Simon finished doing his wardrobe, we had some tech issues with the Mac. Now, I only bought this Mac December last year, and so this is quite annoying that already something has gone wrong with it. But it keeps crashing every few seconds, and obviously for YouTube, that's very, very, very inconvenient. So we've been on the phone to the Apple geniuses, various Apple geniuses, who I now feel like I'm best friends with. I've spoken to them for so long. And we can't actually get an appointment at the Genius Bar in store until Monday. So we are stressed. We're going to go out for a bit and just try and chillax. So I thought I would show you guys my outfit, as I always do. So I've got this trench coat on, which is or hang on, is, it will have been in my wardrobe, capsule wardrobe video, which went live on Sunday just gone. So weird having to talk in like past tense. Um, so yeah, this is the trench coat from that. This was from Next. It is old and sold out now, but I will link some similar options below. Then here I have, spoiler alert, the jumper, which I tried on in Zara earlier on this week. Actually, which brings me to another point. Don't forget, guys, it's the first Sunday of the month, this Sunday, and you know what that means. It's a haul, so stay tuned for the new haul, because there is so much stuff that I'm going to show you, a lot of which you have not seen yet, because I have been very sneaky and I've kept it all secret. Um, Jewellery-wise, the usual ones, Gucci bag mum jeans. I am really getting my money's worth, my 25 99s worth out of these mum jeans. And then another spoiler alert, <laughs> which one am I going to show you, is these little Zara mules pointy things with the bows. So that is the outfit. I have a feeling that this weekend we are going to be just buried under a mountain of tech issues so I'm going to end this week's vlog here but before I go I did just want to say that I answer a lot of your comments that you leave me down beneath my videos and we get a lot of comments that are about lots of different things you ask me questions about you ask me questions about clothes and I always answer those if you guys need a link or if you need sizing info or anything like that I always answer those but for anyone that's got any other questions we're going to be doing a Q&A in a couple of weeks time so I'd like to start asking you all to send in your questions anything you've got life related career related relationship related anything send us your questions and we will do a Q&A for you and yeah I'm going to end this week's vlog here, so I will catch you guys next week. Bye! Wait, no, I won't catch you next week. I'll catch you this Sunday for my haul. And then I'll catch you next week for a new vlog. Bye!